What is going on YouTube? You're watching Next Gen Speed. Today we have a bunch of new CA carbon fiber parts we're going to go over today, which are unreleased. We're going to be releasing soon at nextgenspeed.com, very soon, and very excited to show you guys. Besides these parts that you see here, we've been releasing many, many items at nextgenspeed.com. Stay tuned on our Instagram and Facebook, stuff like that, for more recent posts and to stay up to date on the newest stuff. But I'm loving it so far, guys. I cannot wait to get the whole interior carbonized to make it look just like the Z06. Actually, more options than the Z06, which is perfect. The next gen, we try to do everything we can. GM kind of likes to do like here and there, kind of nitpick, but we're trying to do everything carbon free, guys. All right, so the first piece we're going to go over today is the side console covers, which you got right here. Got one side for the right side and one side for the left side. So from the passenger side, show you guys where this goes. So the biggest piece will be on the passenger side, which you see right here. This kind of just goes in along the side of this console. Inserts just like that. Nice. So, so far, test fit, just mocking it up. Very nice fitment. No edges showing, nice seamless look. All tucked in there as well, which is perfect. All nice and seamless looking. So we're gonna get this peeled off and get it stuck on for you guys. Pretty much all these parts are pretty much the same. All of our carbon fiber parts pretty much match seamlessly together. As you can see, not much of a difference at all. Matching nice and perfect. And then if you go to the driver's side right here, on the side of the console, pretty much this piece will cover this whole entire triangle boomerang area. Just like this. Nice. So mock fit, looking nice. Gotta tuck it in a little bit more. She's looking beautiful. I love that carbon, especially with the carbon fiber steering wheel. But if you guys do get our center console covers, this will match perfectly with that as well. Pretty much any interior part that we have offered. So I'm gonna get the tape peeled off and get these boys stuck on real quick. They're all prepped up, ready to go. Now it's time to stick them on. See how they fully look. Now a quick little tip for you guys is, when you get to prepping up the area for the installation, alcohol pads do help. Also isopropyl so alcohol does help as well. We wanna make sure if you have a colored interior, especially the red, do not use this on the red because it will come off. Try to be very delicate with it. You can use, even use some water or some like Windex or even like a solution mix up of isopropyl alcohol and water. Just do not use too much because the red will come off. All right guys, we're gonna get this installed. Show you guys the mock-up before. Everything's lining up nicely. So to get this installed, we're gonna start on this edge and then go forward into the inside. So left side edge to this corner. Just lined up before we press her down. Looking good there. And she's good to stick down. So we're good to go now. Everything's lining up nicely. Just press firmly down and she will stick. So just apply some pressure about one or two minutes along the entire surface. Make sure she's fully stuck down. Fully installed and looking great, guys. A very nice touch for the C8. Now we just gotta get the rest going. All right, so last piece to put on here, the side console. Should go from the bottom to the edge right here. Got it lined up, now just gotta apply the pressure. And that piece is fully installed, looking nice guys. Looking barely seamless at all. You can't see some little red popping out under there. That's under the dash area. It's kind of hard to cover up with the little cover, but pretty much 99.9% .9 coverage. Looking beautiful guys. Now the next upper dash pieces we got are pretty much this center of the speedometer area and this edge as well. We're just gonna prep up the area, make sure she's all nice and clean. Excuse all the dust in my car. I've been driving around lately with the top down. It's been very nice out and she gets dusty very easily. I'm just gonna prep that up and then get them boys stuck on. And now it's time to install these. So the big piece will be on the left side, driver's side, right over here. Smaller piece will be on the right side, passenger side, right over here. We're gonna take the smaller piece first, line her up, make sure that tape doesn't stick. It's pretty much a line just like this, as you can see. I'm gonna make sure that red stitch shows on the left side and then we're gonna press her down. Kind of follow this like seam line right here in the middle, as you can see. That's pretty much where you want to lay it down fully. I'm mocked up right now. This little area. Everything's looking nice right here. I'll say this little dip for the little radio area as well that we're trying to figure out. And it's looking nice so far. I'm liking that. Just see inside of it and behind it. Nice seamless look. It looks just like OEM, guys. Our speedometer covers will be released very soon, which covers right here. We're verifying the fitment right now. Make sure it's nice and 100% before we release it, just like I was doing right now. We should have that within a couple of weeks. So I'm going to apply pressure. She'll be good to go. I would apply a lot of pressure on these because they are on the sunlight a lot because it's right above the windshield, right below the windshield. Let's so make sure to press at least for about two to five minutes. Make sure these boys are fully stuck on. She's looking nice so far. And here we have the last piece to put on for today, which is the left side driver's side piece. We're gonna follow that little seam in the middle, line her up, and make sure she goes around the edges. She's good there. We are good there. 
Got things looking good so far. Have not pressed it down just yet. I wanna make sure she's 100% before we do. Good there. Come along nicely here. Get the dip right there. Perfect. I'm just gonna apply that pressure for about two to five minutes. Make sure she does not move or come off ever again. <laughs> she's looking nice, guys. Nice touch that we haven't seen before. Exclusively now available at nextgenspeed.com. guys loving the pieces so far definitely make a difference on the vehicle matches up with our next gen carbon parts very nicely as you can see definitely a nice little touch i did not want to add the center console cover on my vehicle because i do have the red interior i feel like it would clash a little bit too much i do like the red on it i'm trying to keep a little carbon fiber and the red it's a little mix up so i think it's a nice little touch to have this little piece on there and a few new pieces come in too as well so I'm loving it, guys. Please let us know in the description below how you guys think about these items. We will be starting to work on these, producing these, getting these out to you guys. So if you guys want to get a pre-order in, check out the link in the description below at nextgenspeed.com. And the will be released very, very soon.